In today's video, we're going to take a look at the drop from gold XAU USD that we've seen so far this week, where this market could be going over the coming days, and also my entire trade plan for the rest of this month. So looking here at the XAU USD daily time frame, if you guys saw the video I put out on August 2nd, I titled it bullish on gold, not so fast. And a lot of people hated that video because they were bullish on this market, um, trying to tell me that this right here was an inverse head and shoulders, right? Now it could have been, but you needed a break above this level up here for starters and also back above these highs up here in this area, which gold never got close to. Okay, so that was never a confirmed reversal pattern for gold. And in fact, ever since the market was testing this area back here, I was telling members, um, and also you guys for that matter, that we could get the market moving down here toward the lows, breaking below this trend line that extends off of that low from November of last year. And that's exactly what we've gotten so far this week. Now we do have CPI here in the US uh, coming up in the next less than 24 hours um, tomorrow morning. So do expect volatility for XAU USD on this breakdown. So this is not, in my opinion, where you wanna be trading this market, um, especially not after the market has already broken down from this trend line. You can see we got the breakdown here, retest at today's high. So what I'm actually looking for from gold here um, over the coming days and really weeks is a move down here to test this low. Now we make it the market um, piercing below that down here right around 1895. So maybe a pierce below that on some volatility and then a move back up here into this area right around 1940 to 1950. Now that right there is going to be a confluence of resistance because it is this failed trend line and also the top of this channel off of that high from back there in May. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna be looking for from gold um, over the coming days. But once again, we do have CPI coming up. So expect some volatility here for this market over the next 24 to 48 hours. All right, now we're going to take a look at the DXY, the US dollar index, because that is going to play a role um, for the gold chart because the dollar does tend to move inversely to gold. But before we do guys, if you are enjoying the content, be sure to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon for notifications. And furthermore, if you have not signed up already, guys, it might be too late for you, uh, to be honest. But if you go to the description of this video, or if you're on the website, scroll down from this video, there will be a link there to sign up to Blue Ray Markets. Now, if you already have an account and have not traded, you're going to want to make a trade before August 10th, because that's when this promo ends, where you can win an Apple Watch Ultra and $500 in cash. And I'm also giving away lifetime access to our group if you deposit $100 or more uh, before August 10th but you have to go through the application process. So, you know, once again, it could actually be too late for you um, if you have not signed up already. But this is an incredible offer, guys. I'm only doing it this one time. I will never offer access to our group this low again. Um, in fact, later this year, the price for membership will be going up considerably. So once again, see the link in the description here on YouTube or if you're on the website, scroll down from this video and you will see the link right there. Okay, so let's take a look at the DXY going to the three-day time frame. This is a trend line that we've talked about now at length for the DXY, the US dollar index. And this is gonna matter for gold guys because this moves inversely or tends to move inversely to gold. So if we see the DXY break out from this area up here, right around 103, okay, that is going to be bearish for gold. So it's going to take a close above this area up around 103 and that move toward some of these highs up here. Now, again, we do have CPI coming up, so expect a lot of volatility for this market. And on the flip side, if we see the DXY get rejected from this area, okay, so you can see where right now, the market is finding resistance in this general area between 102.50 or so and 103. So if we see the DXY rotate lower, take out the June low at 101.92, you can see that it held up here on Friday. If the market were to rotate lower, you know, sustain break below this, and you're looking at that move down here toward the 100.8 level. Now, as I've said for weeks, guys, the reason I am not bearish on the dollar, I've said this um, ever since the market reclaimed this area back here. And in fact, when the market was back here, my target was 102.8, which was tested last week. And the reason for that is the previous year-to-date low at 100.8, that was reclaimed back here on this price action. As soon as the DXY reclaimed that on the higher timeframes, I was bullish on the dollar looking for this area up here. Okay, so for now, like I said last week in a video, uh, this area between really 103 and this area around 102, this is your range right now for the dollar. Okay, so you really don't wanna be trading the dollar when it's in the middle of this range. Um, like I said, it's either going to take a sustained break below here to open up the 101 area, 
or we get that sustained break above 103 following CPI, right? Sustain break above these two levels up here. And we're looking at a potentially very bullish dollar towards some of these higher levels because that would be an incredibly significant reclaim. But for now, again, a very indecisive um, in this market just because it is trading in the middle of that 102 to 103 range. Okay, so flipping back to XAU USD, just to kind of finish up, um, again, the market is breaking below that trend line from last year. I talked about this before. I talked about how we could see the market set up in a bearish way on August 2nd. And so far, that's exactly what we are seeing. Okay, so if we kind of extend this forward, um, just before we wrap up here, guys, if we extend this forward and looking here over the next few weeks, right, there is that potential. We get the move down here, like I said, maybe take that out a little bit and then move up here to test 1940 to 1950. That becomes critical resistance for gold. And given the fact that it did break that significant trend line, I think that right here, that could be a potential sell for a move back down here toward 1895 and potentially to get that move down here toward 1800. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm looking for over the coming weeks. We'll see if we get it. I think that this scenario right here, okay, this bear scenario for gold um, does hinge on the DXY breaking above 103. Okay, the only way we're going to see gold do something like this, move down here toward 1800, is if we see the dollar uh, break back above 103 sometime this month. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope it helped. Be careful with CPI coming up. And don't forget to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon for notifications. Trade well this week, and I will talk to you again tomorrow.